another few minutes lah. Okay. So at this, um, at this moment, we're waiting for your colleagues to come in. You can continue answering your practical seven.
so regarding the presentation, how many groups are in your class? So please, uh, please place your leader's name here in the chat box. The group E nineteen nineteen. So I think about five groups, right? Another one group. One more group. Okay, and then you have around how many members? 18, 18, 15. Okay, Ryan.
<clears throat> okay, we have around five, right? Later, please on your mic so, because I want you to select your turn. Starts with uh, Noilen. Sorry, spin the wheel, and then you can hit stop. Uh. Can we start now? Yeah. Okay, uh, okay, so we wait first lah. Testing, testing. Okay, testing, okay. So can we start again? Okay. Okay. Already five one yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. Again, yeah. Again, eh? Again, Okay, second presenter. Next, Lim Sheng Yin. You can on your microphone. <clears throat> no? So, uh, please turn on your microphone. Uh, so and then uh, you need to <coughs> you need to say something lah. So can we try again? Okay, and then ask your team member to select. Okay, so we try again. Yeah? Sandra, Sandra's group, can you on uh, your microphone? Uh, yes, miss. Oh, okay. So, we try, ah? Uh? Oh, okay. Presenter. 
Oh, okay. Okay. My name is Phan Yap Seng. That's me. Okay. We try, huh? Oh. 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 Okay, Nat. Okay, Nat. Okay, Nat. Cool. And then by default, Ryan Stroke is going to be the last presenter. Lah. Okay. Okay, so your presentation uh, will be on week 16 and 14. So for the presentation, so please wear proper attire. Because I want you to on your webcam. So for the presentation, uh, slides is optional. Slide is option, optional. And then you will be given around 30 minutes to present your outcome. Okay. So even if it is not your turn next week, so please attend. So, okay. So attendance is compulsory lah. Well, your group is in six. Let me check this. No, fourth one. Sorry, sorry. Fourth group. Okay, thank you. So at this moment, uh, please continue answering your practical seven.
So, hi everyone. Can you see my screen? Okay, I will go to session. So for question one a, so it is about a hospital, a, a patient waiting education. <clears throat> so literally for this one, you have two types of room, which is the standard room and private room. Okay, and then the patient also is divided into two. The first one is our patient who who doesn't need a hostel stay. While for the inpatient, uh, he or she need to be hospitalized for at least one day, lah. Okay. <clears throat> so based on this uh, situation, you need to create three classes. The first one is abstract superclass. So this one we can fit the patient bill as superclass. So this one is an abstract superclass. And then uh, outpatient and inpatient bill is the subclass. Okay. <clears throat> so this is the abstract class corporation base. So just like I mentioned to you before, this patient this patient bill, we can treat this patient bill as a super class. Okay? So literally, so we have about one, two, three data members, which is your visit ID, name and last assigned ID. Okay? So in order to define your data, 
or in order to define your variables, you have, we have three types of articulation. Lah. The first one is protect, uh, public, protected, and private. Okay, so public here. So if your your data types of uh, declaration is a public, so meaning that it can be accessed everywhere. Okay, so if it is protected, uh, there is uh, a restriction here. Uh, in which uh, it can only <coughs> used by its subclass only. It can only be used by uh, this abstract class together with the abstract class. But if it is private, it can only be used inside this class only. It cannot be shared with others. Okay, so I repeat, public, it can be accessed everywhere or anywhere. Protected, it can be accessed by the class itself together with the two, uh, subclass. While the private, it can only uh, be accessed by the class itself only. Okay? So, we refer back to the requirement. So, the requirement is, uh, we have three requirements here. So, the first one is you need to define and use static variables to represent the registration fee and room rate. So, this one, uh, you need so this one is for the subclass and then this one also uh, you need to provide a method to calculate the total charge and this one uh, for the subclass also and then for the abstract class so this is the statement for your abstract class okay so you need to define the top field as protected so this one lah. and declare abstract method so how you're going to declare abstract method so you can simply declare a method by using this syntax. Okay, so I want to inform you that uh, your abstract method can only exist in your abstract class. And also it cannot have anybody. So it only exists in your abstract class only. And then in line 8 up until line 11, so this one is the constructor. Okay, so constructor is also a method, but somehow the constructor name must be the same with your class name. So inside uh, your parenthesis is the arguments. So inside these arguments, we assign the visual ID into our to the last assigned ID because we want to increment this ID one by one, right? And then we assign name. These are we are uh, and then we are going to use this to the name lah. Why we use this keyword? Because uh, we want to avoid data shadowing. Okay, and then uh, in since in line 11, so this is the syntax in which we increase the values of last assign ID by 1. Okay, and also we have two string method here. So two string method here will allow you to, to change your data field, to change your data members to uh, string. Okay. So this two, two in this two method will allow you to return any type of data members to a string lah. For example, in this case, we are returning patient name to the string. Okay. So this is your patient, your abstract podcast patient me lah. Okay. For the inpatient, for the operation first lah, operation bill. So this is the code.
Okay, so for the subclass equation B, so uh, you need to refer back to the to this table. Okay, so in this table we have one, two, three, four data members, right? So literally for the visit ID and names, so we can simply retrieve these two data members from the superclass. Meaning that we don't have to initialize this ID and name inside your subclass. Okay. Uh, so uh, literally for patient subclass, we only need to have two data members only, which is the registration fees and consultation. Registration fees and consultation. Okay. Oh, so this is your data members or your variables. So registration fees is your static variable while consultation fees is your instant variable okay so literally uh, you need to check this one back okay the registration fees about 30 ringgit so we put the 30.00 here lah okay for this one we use double because we want to read the coin right we want to read the sign values lah okay and then for this one we set as static Okay, don't forget to set your variables, don't forget to set your data members to private because we want to limit the access. Okay, so this is your constructor. So for the string name, okay, and then this is the arguments lah for your operation based construct, constructor. So for the string name, so we don't have to initialize here. Uh, somehow you can simply inherit the name from your outpatient uh, from your patient bin superclass here so this one lah. okay and then for the consultation fee uh, you can uh, simply assign this one is equal to fee lah equal to this one or otherwise you can also use the keyword this okay and then uh, we look back at the requirement. So this is the requirement. So you need to provide a method to calculate the total charge for the patient bill. Okay, so this is the requirement lah. So we create lah a method to calculate the total charge. So this one is for a patient who don't need uh, to be hospitalized lah. And then this is the equation. So this is the equation. Okay. For the inpatient B, so this one is a bit uh, complex. Huh?
Okay, so this one for the inpatient. So in this table, you have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So the first two is uh, since uh, we we don't have to initialize. So this one you can refer. Uh, we can simply inherit from the superclass patient bill. Okay. So there is a remaining data members, uh, which is one, two, three, four, five, six lah. One, two, three, four, five, six uh, variables. Okay. So for the standard and private rate, so we set this one as static. Okay. Because uh, here, so this is your statement lah. Okay. For the standard room, so this is uh, the charge. And then for the private room, so this is the charge. Okay, we can simply assign 100 and 200 to the standard and private rate. So basically, uh, 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 the, the data type for this variable is double. Because uh, we are dealing with money, right? So money, uh, we have uh, send, right? So that's why we are using double. And then for the specialist charge and lab charges, we set it as double also because it involves money. And then for the room type, so here we have two room types, which is S and P. So we set it as character. For the duration of stay, uh, it involves this, which is the integer. So we set it as INT. Okay. So for your data members, for your variables, don't forget to set it as private because we want to limit, limit the access because we want uh, only this class can uh, assess this kind of variable. Okay, so in line it up until line 15. So this is the constructor. Lah. So how you identify whether it is uh, a normal method or constructor. So you need to see the constructor name. You need to uh, see the uh, method name. So if the method name is similar with your class name, so we call it as constructor. So inside your parenthesis here, so this is the arguments. Okay, meaning that your constructor will receive this kind of arguments. Okay, it will receive name, uh, specialist charges, lab charges, room types, and in uh, duration of stay. But for your string name, okay, uh, because just like I mentioned to you before, so this is the subclass, right? So your subclass can simply inherit the properties from your superclass. So we check again in your superclass, we have name already, right? Uh, so in this one, we have name. So uh, you can simply inherit the, uh, the this data members or this variable uh, from your superclass by using keyword super. And then for a special charges, lab charges, room type and duration of stay. Uh, in order to use this one, you can use this keyword. Okay, so why we're using this? Because we want to avoid overshadowing. Lah. Okay, we want to differentiate between uh, this one and this one. That's why we're using this. Okay. So, and then the next question asks you to calculate uh, the total charges for the patient bill, okay, by creating a method lah. So, this is the method for you to calculate the total charges so for inpatient bill. So, literally for this one, since we have two types of, uh, since, since we need to calculate the room charges, right? So, first of all, we you need to uh, initialize the room charges uh, to values. So literally, we set the value for any initialization, we set the values as zero. That is the standard uh, way to initialize your variable. If it is integer, we set it as zero. If it is double or float, we set it as 0, 0.0 and so on. Lah. Okay, so this is the basic and uh, this, this is the standard values for any initialization. Lah. Whether you want to increment, whether you want to decrement, whether you want to make some uh, calculation. Okay, since we have two types of room, which is S and P. So this one S and P. 
So uh, in this case, I'm using case. So instead of using case, you can also use if as lah. It depends on you. Or oh, any other method lah uh, that will uh, represent uh, S is referred to uh, standard room, P is referred to the private room and so on. Okay, for case uh, S, which is the standard room case, so this is the formula. Okay, so the, the, the outpatient, the, the, the inpatient will be charged. Okay, the outpatient will be charged uh, according to duration of stay multiplied with standard rate. Okay, and then for the private room, the room charges is this one. Duration of stay, uh, how many days long uh, you are staying uh, at the hospital. And then private rate. So private rate, uh, the rate is uh, around 200 uh, per night. Lah. Okay. So outside your uh, your your switch case loop, uh, switch case uh, condition, you can have your return uh, statement. So this is the, your return statement lah. <clears throat> and then for your driver program.
Okay, so for your driver program, your driver program, so for one day lah. So with literally for this program, you need to create an array of four patient based object, and then uh, for each object, you need to display the bill information and also the total charge lah. So this is. So you need to create an array of four patient with object. So inside your main. And then for 1C, you need to add a method to test uh, your program. So the name of your method is, com is called Compute Total Collection. Okay. So inside your Compute Total Collection method, you need to receive. So, so uh, this method will receive patient bills array. And after that, you need to compute. And then you also need to return the summation. Of all the bills. Okay, so this is for 1C. 1B and 1C. Okay, and then for question number 2, so this one uh, requests you to modify your question bill from the previous question so that it will implement the comparable interface. So this one is comparable. So we will refer back to the abstract class. Of per bill, uh, of patient uh, bill, and then we are going to implement comparable interface lah. So I put uh, somewhere here lah. Okay, so for question two, so this is the question, you need to implement comparable interface. So how you're going to implement comparable? So you need to add another keyword called implement. Okay, so this is the interface lah, comparable. Okay, and then you need to implement the compare to method so that it will compare the current objects with the parameter objects based on the patient name. So the keyword is patient name based on patient name. So we 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 create another new method called compare to method. Okay, so this is the syntax on how to create a method called compare to. Okay, and then this method will receive uh, object O O, and then it will return the name. That's why uh, the question asks you lah, based on patient name. Okay. And then uh, for the third one, you need to test your compare to method by using selection sort method. So this selection uh, sort method, you need to add this one in your driver program. So this one lah. Selection sort method. So for the selection sort method, you can refer back to the previous practical I've already given to you uh, last week, right? So you may continue answering your practical seven now.